appreciate you helping me home with my books. But I don't need any help. But thanks for asking! Jason! Hey, Harvey. I lost you at school. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I wanted to get home in time. 33 seconds. Just enough time for some Billy Go Boom Boom trivia. Ask me anything. Uh, Harv? Why do you care so much about Billy Go Boom Boom? Why do I care? Sabrina, Billy is more than a cartoon. Billy is my life. I count on Billy. He symbolizes the child inside all of us. Uh, sorry, no more time. It's T-minus Billy. <laughs> Hi, kids. It's me, your old pal, Thomas the Cloud. And this is the Thomas the Cloud Cartoon Cavalcade. Now that Billy Go Boom Boom has been killed, we're super duper proud to present our new show, <laughs> Trudy the Trombone Chicken! <laughs> what? This can't be right. Chickens can't play trombones. They don't have lips. Harvey, relax. What about Billy? They canceled Billy! Harvey, you okay? Harv, bud, you gotta snap out of this funk. What's wrong? Midlife crisis. Harvey, you're 12. You know, I thought Billy was gonna be there forever. You know what this means, don't you? Um, uh, new sheets? No, goodbye youth. I mean, soon we'll be moving into a new stage of our lives. Junior high school's right around the corner. And once we turn that corner, we won't have time for the cool, fun stuff that I like to do. Like what? Putting peanut butter inside people's gym socks. Belching the melodies of new wave hits of the 80s. One day, you're putting your teeth under your pillow for the tooth fairy, and before you know it, putting them in a glass by your bed. <sighs> What's this, drama king? Mementos of my youth. Please. See this? My toenail. It fell off the time I kicked the soccer ball too hard. But I made it through. And this, a wad of gum that Zach Tupper smushed into my hair. But I made it through. What's this? Oh, that's more. My old imaginary friend. He's the one who helped me make it through. You had an imaginary friend? Like when you talked to? Yeah. Mort got me through all the milestones in my life. Potty training. That first co-ed birthday party. The realization that my parents were actually alien cannibals in disguise. Huh? Luckily, that last one turned out to be a false alarm. And did Mort talk back? Yep. Mort was the best. Until I woke up one morning and he was gone. Disappeared. Sometimes I wish with all my heart that good old Mort would come back and help me get through times like these. Bob. Uncle Quigley, Harvey says he used to have an imaginary friend. So? So, what's the deal? Is he nuts or what? <laughs> of course not. Lots of kids have imaginary friends. They're perfectly normal. Then why didn't I have one? Not all kids do. Usually they show up when children are feeling a little nervous or alone. They stick around a while and then leave when their usefulness has ended. <laughs> The imaginary friend, Harvey is looped. He's potty, governor. The boy's gone round a bend. He is not. Uncle Quig says they show up when they're needed. Harvey needs him. So you're going to magically arrange a reunion between Harvey and Mort? Sounds kind of fishy. If anyone can yank Harvey out of his funk, it's his little imaginary friend. 
Hey, where's the spooky jar? Zelda hid it from you. Why? You have to ask. You've used it one too many times for frivolous reasons. Whitening your teeth, tying your shoes, changing the channels. What? I couldn't find the remote. Where is it? Nothing doing, kid. Of course, they have entrusted Moi with its secret location, but being the highly trustworthy guardian that I am... I'll scratch your belly. It's under the sink. What makes them think I wouldn't have looked under the sink? It's wedged behind the cleaning detergent. Diabolical. Time to raise some spirits. Ahem. First things first. <sighs> Gotta stick to my end of the bargain. Whoa! <laughs> you said you'd scratch me, not tickle me. Tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> I'd hate to interrupt all the fun and frolic after selflessly creating a spell for you. Here I come, sorry. <laughs> Spells in I'm out of time. I cannot recite to you, my bride. Thanks, I'll make it up to you. Hey, heart. You know, I was thinking. I heard that if you scream someone's name three times at the top of your lungs while flying through the air on a skateboard on Thursdays at... 4.29 p.m., that the person's name you scream magically appears in front of you. Really? That's what I've heard. Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan. Well, that didn't work very well. No, I was kind of thinking you could ask for Mort. Hey, that's a great idea. But he's imaginary. So? So I'm almost a teenager. Teenagers don't have imaginary friends. Who says? Hmm. Psychiatrists, I guess. Look, I know what you're doing. Actually, I got no idea what you're doing. Humor me. Do the jump and call out for more. What do you want to do first? Swallow well, live goldfish, paint our bodies with mayonnaise, eat paste? Let's do it all! Yeah! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey! Da -da -da. You're welcome! <laughs> Darling, we're going to do wonders with your hair. We could do it up, or we could do it down. Side to side, or back to front. I got your pompadour, or my personal favorite. <gasps> the jump of the guard! Easy, honey, don't throw a tizzy. Could you please stop that? Fine! You don't have to tell me 114 times. I'm sorry, Jim, but my friend Mort is sitting here. No savesies, Harvey. I'm rich. I'm allowed to sit anywhere. Wow, this is freaky. Let's have some fun with her, shall we? Hello, students of Greendale. I have an important announcement to make. I like to sniff my armpits and make tea with dirty socks. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, stop! That's mean! Mort, lay off. <laughs> what? What's so funny? So, Harvey, are you feeling a little happier now? You know, Sabs, you were right. I shouldn't worry about growing up and stuff. I'm glad to hear that Mort has helped you get past this difficult hurdle in your life. Get past? No, you don't understand. I shouldn't worry about growing up because I don't have to. With Mort here, I can have all the fun I want. Come on, Mort. Time for science class. Phasers locked on targets. Oh, yeah. Really cool. And who can tell me what this bone is? The tailbone? The tailbone. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kinkle, is there something funny? Uh, no, Mr. Crampton. Mr. Crampton! <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, Mr. Kinkle, why don't you tell me what this bone is? Um, uh, that bone is the, uh, the... Oh, now I remember. Uh, that's the trombone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trombone! <laughs> uh, Mr. Kinkle, huh? did you read your assignments last night? <laughs> Actually, I, uh, well, to tell you the truth, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, which little prankster wants detention? <laughs> That wasn't very funny. Someone could have gotten hurt. What do you know? You got cooties. I most certainly do not. Whatever they are. Come on, Sabs, lighten up. I'll lighten up when you grow up, Harvey. <laughs> oh, don't lose your head over this. Get it? <laughs> don't lose your head. <laughs> Sabrina? I'm sorry. So what's next? What are we going to do now? What do you think? English. English? English? Your English sounds fine to me. Let's go have some fun. I don't know, Mort. I think I better go to class. Come on! It's me, Mort, your best bud in the world! I dare you. I double doozy paloozy dare you. Did you say double doozy paloozy? Just like the old days. Well, I can't back out of the paloozy. Guess it's time to have some fun. There, done. Look, Mort, it's you. That's great. Now check out mine. Cool. Uh, that's me. Mort, that's not paint, is it? Sure is. Oh, wait, forgot to add your name. Mort, no! I'll get in trouble. Come on, Mort. Ah, oops! Uh. <laughs> What's with the toothbrush? It's to scrub the wall clean. And I got three weeks' detention. Harvey, Mort's a big three-year-old. It's time to move on. He's holding you back. Why do you say that? Jingle! This is all my fault. I should have never brought you back. Sabrina, you're killing me here. Oh, see how prettily I die. I'm going into the light. <gasps> Grandma, is that you? I bet it, Mort. Okay, Mortimer, you've served your purpose. Harvey, out of his bunk, I think it's time for you to go. Go where? Wherever. I don't care. You just have to go. But I don't want to go. Harvey and I are having fun. Can't you see that? Mm. I've got Saturday detention? <laughs> fun? Are you crazy? We get to spend the entire day together. Sabrina, you want to come too? Oh, yeah, sure. That's how I want to spend my Saturday afternoon. Great. Let me help you out. And be right back. <laughs> just take a sec. Whoa. I got a great idea. Let's play name that tune with armpit noises. That's it. I've got to get rid of him once and for all. Oh, it's so great to be back. You and me are best friends forever. Nice hair, Smellman. <laughs> Saturday detention. Here are the rules. No talking, no walking, no standing, no stretching, no fidgeting, no raising of hands, no asking of questions, no laughing, no moving, no reading, no looking at each other, no sighing, no crying, no pitter-patter, no chitter-chatter, no nothing. Now, any questions? Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your Saturday. What a loser. So what do you want to do, huh? Oh, I got it. Let's have a drilling contest. No, wait. Let's photocopy our belly buttons. No, wait. No, wait. You're going to get us all in trouble again. Harvey, please control your friend. Oh, now I see what's happening. It's a loser convention. It's not funny, Mort. Sabrina's my friend. 
And she's right. We can't keep behaving like we're kids. But we are kids. <laughs> go, go. Some of us more than others. Look, Mort, I thought it was going to be hard to move on, difficult to face junior high school. But having you around for the last 24 hours, I've realized it's harder to go back. What? You don't like me anymore? <laughs> you want me to go? <laughs> You're seeing another fake fit? <laughs> don't cry. Please stop. <laughs> Look, it's just... Am I going to be happy being 40 and putting worms down the backs of people's shirts? It sounds like heaven. I know you think it does, and that's what makes you special. That's why you were my best friend. I just have to move on. I just have to move on. No, I do. No, I do. Stop imitating me. Stop imitating me. Stop it. Stop it. I think he's telling you he wants you to go. But we're going to be together forever. No, Mort. I'm sorry. Come on. Don't stop now. Let's have some fun. Absolutely, positively not. I dare you. I challenge you to a duel of dares. A double doozy palazzi dare. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. <gasps> you excuse us a moment. What are you doing? He was leaving. Let him go. But I can't. He double doozy paloozied me. I know. But when are you going to grow up? Sabrina, I can't back out of a paloozy. You don't understand. Let's get it on. Hit me with your best shot. In this corner, the challenger wearing purple polka dots and weighing in at 1,854 pounds. Mort! And in this corner, the story's protagonist from Greendale Middle School, Harvey Kiko! Weighing in at... A Henway! What's a Henway? Oh, about three or four pounds. Huh? Okay, Harv, me first. Your dare comes in two parts. This'll bring the old Harvey back. First, I double doozy paloozy dare you to go to the school lunchroom and guzzle the entire week's supply of creamed spinach. Not a problem. <laughs> Gah! Mission accomplished. That was easy. Is that all you got? Part two. I double doozy paloozy dare you to kiss Sabrina on the lips! Huh? Ew! No! Don't make me do it! Ew, no! Don't make him do it! Double doozy paloozy! Sabrina, close your eyes. This will all be over soon. Yeah. I'm going to have nightmares! Okay, Mort. Payback time. Bring it on! I dare you. I double doozy paloozy dare you to... Let me grow up. What? You mean... You've been an important part of my life. I wouldn't trade our past for anything. If you were ever my friend, you've got to let me go. I understand. But can I ask you a favor first? Anything. Can I have a hug goodbye? I'm going to miss you, little guy. This thing. I hope it wasn't too bad. No, I mean, yeah, but you know, I just learned about baseball and it was fine. A little cream spinach there, but I got it. Well, thanks for showing me that it was time to move on. Problem. Friend? Friend. Well, uh, bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>